Okay, for this probability, um, we're going to use the binomial distribution. Now, the first question might be, how do I know that it's binomial? Okay, we have a situation where there's two outcomes. There's left-handed or right-handed, okay? There's only two outcomes. Whenever you see that, two outcomes, okay? Try to think about binomial distribution. All right, now, if you know the binomial distribution, then um, you will simply have uh, this, this thing here. Okay, now, but that can be arrived at without knowing <clears throat> specifically the binomial distribution. And um, let's just see how we would do that. Okay, uh, P is the probability of left-handed people. Q is the probability of right-handed people. Okay, so I, I want out of 10, uh, out of uh, 30 people, I want, I want six left-handed people. So this is the total number of trials. This is the number of desired outcomes, or we could say success. Okay. Now, how many ways can that can those six people out of 30 be arranged? It's with the combination n choose k or 30 choose 6. So that's here. Okay. And then we're going to have six or k successes. So it would be a p times itself, six six times, and then all the remaining, which would be 24, of the right-handed, so the probability of right-handed, raised to the 24. You notice a couple things here, that this number plus this number always equals n. Okay, so that's a good check to do. All right, so you, it's possible to arrive at this result without really knowing that you're using the binomial distribution, but if you know that you're using the binomial distribution, that's really good. It's helpful, and then you can produce this. And many calculators also um, will do the binomial distribution for you. So if you can identify what distribution you're using, okay, and you go to the calculator, all you need is three things. You only need uh, the n, the k, and the p, and you just you just put it in. So if you have a calculator that does that. I would recommend first uh, understanding this, calculate this, and then see if you can reproduce that number on your calculator. Okay, I hope that was helpful.